today's video is going to be an updated evening routine. Um, now obviously I'm a mum of two boys, so this is like my evening routine with them as well as their bedtime routine in it as well. Um, I thought I would do an updated video like this because the last one I did, Caleb was just six months old and he's now nearly two. So it has changed a little bit. Um, also on this particular evening, I was flying solo because my husband was working a bit late. So um, sorry about some of the camera angles and everything. Um, but yeah, this is just what we do on a typical evening. Um, no matter what we do in the day, I always try to get home for four o'clock or 4.30 because my boys tend to eat quite early at 4.30. Um, I just find that they eat better then because sometimes they're like, way too hungry and they try to have snacks and it kind of like ruins their evening and it's also I stick with the routine that they actually did at nursery so they used to eat at 4 or 4 30 so I've just always stuck with that please give this video a like if you did like it and feel free to comment if you have any other tips that might be good for me or what you do in your bedtime routine I'd love to hear it and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon Right, so on this particular day, we have been to the park to play mini golf and we've come home and I am just making sausage and mash tonight. I always use the Richmond sausages because I feel like there's not too much flavor in them and my kids seem to really like them. Um, so yeah, just sausage, mash and peas, a little bit of ketchup as well. Um, I like these sectioned off plates because I feel that my boys kind of like to see it all spread out and nothing touching each other. So um, I think my eldest has a little bit of OCD. <laughs> uh, when they're eating, I try to have a snack. Today I'm having my usual of rice cakes, almond butter, bananas and water. Um, this kind of helps me to not steal their food, but I normally do that as well. Um, and I get the boys to the table and yet yeah, we just kind of like hang out while they're eating dinner. I have the snack and I encourage them to eat as well as I also flick through like the brochures that I have, like Ikea catalog at the moment, Cox and Cox, or I go on my phone a little bit, but I do try and like be active with them as well. Uh, then I have to tidy up um, all the food that they didn't eat <laughs> and normally clear the floor off as well. Um, and then it's pudding time. They're having just chocolate pudding today. And, um, and then I let the boys chill out in the front room and watch TV while well, I try and tidy up the main room, which is like our family room, um, just like wiping down surfaces and tidying up all the toys. The boys normally come in and like try and help me a tiny bit, but really not that helpful. Um, and then I go around with my cordless Hoover, which I'm obsessed with. It's like a new thing that I got and I love it. I use it every single day. It's just so easy. I do the dishwasher and I try to wipe down the sides. Now, obviously some days, if they're having bad days, this does not happen, this tidy up, but most days I can manage it. And then it's time for milk. At the moment are on 2% cow's milk and they just have it cold in a beaker, which makes life a lot easier. Um, and I kind of let them have that while they're still watching TV. And I try my hardest to make some of the lunches up for the next day while they're still awake. I mean, sometimes I do this when they're already asleep and packing up snacks for school. Yeah, and then I pack the bag up for the next day. Tomorrow, I've actually got Caleb, but I still always pack the bag. And then we go upstairs to get ready for the bath, and the boys ruin my bed, which there's no point in me making because they ruin it every night. <laughs> they have a great time doing it, though, while I run the bath. And then I get the boys in the bath, and I always make sure as soon as they get in the bath, I wash them and I do their teeth, and then they're free to play after that. Then I get them out to dry them, and I am soaking wet from the bath. <laughs> and I get them in their jammies. Uh, this makes it look easy, but it's actually really hard to get them both in their pajamas. <laughs> and yeah, and then they just have some more milk, and they play in their room. Um, as you can see, they just get every single toy out that they own. When they're ruining the room, I get their clothes ready for the next day, and I tend to take them downstairs and leave them on the table, because we normally dress them downstairs. Um, and then I come back and the room looks like this. <laughs> And we read some books. Um, Caleb's really into these textured books at the moment. Give Fraser the iPad for a few minutes while I put Caleb to bed. A very tired Caleb to bed by the looks of it. Um, he still sleeps in one of these bags. And um, yeah, I just tuck him up in that bag with his blanket comforter. And then I go back and read Fraser a story and put him to bed. And then it's time to shower. So I need to take the hair off my legs, so I use Veet in shower cream so you just slap it on and leave it for about five or six minutes and it comes off in the shower with a scrub and then I choose what I'm going to wear for the next day and I take off all my makeup with a Dermalogica pre-cleanse wipe 
and then I get in the shower. I'm using this Fibrology shampoo conditioner at the moment, which I love. And then it's time to make dinner. While I'm cooking, I normally also catch up on my YouTube videos. So tonight I'm doing um, my husband's favorite tuna pasta. It is basically just capers, um, anchovies, garlic paste, and chili. And you whack in some tuna and some olives and olive oil and lemon juice. And you put it on pasta and it is so delicious and it takes just 10 minutes to make. And then we eat these huge portions. I try to tidy as I go. I'm quite a tidy chef. And then I do some vlogging um, or blogging while we watch Prison Break. And that is my evening. And I'm trying to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. We're here, we thought we'd play a game of mini golf like we usually do. <laughs>